Hello folks. Well, uh, last night I was on a channel um, of a flat earther uh, named Arwin and we were discussing light. Um, in particular, he was uh, interested in um, what causes redshift and uh, because of the limitations of uh, making uh, any adequate kind of description in the uh, in the live chat um, I promised him that I would uh, make a short video uh, explaining what it is so uh, what I'm about to show you is uh, quite a busy board because I've sort of tried to fit everything on it um, but we'll see how we go okay back in a sec okay folks we're back again as you can see this uh, board is very very busy However, I'll try to um, help you make some sense of it. So first, let's start off um, with what is light. And light is essentially packets of uh, energy. And these packets of energy can uh, act as uh, waves, uh, wavelets, if you like, and also as, um, as particles. So uh, consider them to be a packet of wavelets, if you like. That helps. Now... Um, the visible light is a small portion of the electromagnetic um, spectrum, in fact a very, very small lither, slither of it, and uh, that starts uh, from very, very long wavelengths such as radio and goes into, um, into uh, microwave, uh, infrared, and then you've got the visible light portion of it. This is highly exaggerated because this is such a very very small slither of the electromagnetic spectrum and then beyond that you have uh, UV uh, x-rays and gamma rays and so on which are very very high frequency very very um, very very short wavelengths these get longer and longer and longer uh, all the way till they quite long over here now what do we mean by a wavelength a wavelength is from one peak of a wave to the other peak so here we have uh, this is one complete one, so from here to here is one wavelength. Okay, so now, colour is a function of the wavelength. So that's one of the questions that uh, Arwen uh, wanted to know. In other words, what, uh, what was responsible for colour? And I think Arwen thought that it was speed. So, no Arwen, it's um, wavelength that's responsible for the colour. So, as you can see, the, the waves are long, long wavelengths, and uh, here in the visible light part of it, uh, red are uh, longer wavelengths, and violet are very, very short wavelengths. And the, it's this wavelength, this, that determines what color it is. So, here we have, um, you know, depiction of an eye, for instance, and the eye has uh, cones, and it's the cones in the eye that, um, okay, that uh, recognizes colors and is able to discern wavelengths uh, from one another. So these are basically only has three colors, uh, red, uh, green, and blue. And from all of that is able to discern uh, millions of colors and... Um, uh, Anyway, um, so yes, the uh, eyes will pick up, these cones will pick up wavelengths, well, wa the wavelength, and be able to discern what color it is from that. So, why is it that things, this pen here, the top of it looks red to you? Well, it certainly looks red to me. Okay, and the reason that it is, is because the light is, um, is reflecting off that. The red, the red wavelength, this part here is reflecting off the pen and all of the other wavelengths are being absorbed. So the red is being reflected and all the other wavelengths are being absorbed. Similarly, I've got this, this one over here. As you can see, that looks blue, certainly looks blue to me. And again, over here, it's because the wavelengths in this portion of the visible light spectrum are reflecting off it 
So the light's reflecting off that, coming back to my eye. And so my eye sees this as blue. That's because the cones in my eye are able to discern what wavelength that is. And it, to me, uh, it, uh, my brain uh, looks at that and says that that uh, recognizes it to be blue. Okay, other colors, for instance, um, this one over here, again, that looks purple. And for that very reason, again, over here, that, that indigo type of color over here, that wavelength in that sort of vicinity, uh, that would be bouncing off and all the other uh, colors uh, would be absorbed. But if you have a look at the white portion of the pen, see that's white, okay? And it's white because all of the wavelengths, the entire lot from there to there, are bouncing off, are reflecting off that white part there, okay? Where there's black, for instance, uh, if you have a look at something that's black, for instance, the, this, the, the printing over here is black, this part here is black, and the reason that it's black is because all of the wavelengths from there to there are absorbed um, uh, by that um, by that uh, area, and therefore it looks black. So nothing, no, none of this here is reflected off that um, that black part. Okay, uh, what have we got now? So the next thing we wanted to talk about, uh, I think Arwen was uh, was then asking about the um, redshift. So what I tried to explain to, uh, to Arwen is to think about, for instance, let's have a look over here. It's called the Doppler effect. Uh, think about an ambulance that's, uh, that's got a siren that's, um, that's coming towards you. And as the siren comes towards you, it makes a higher and higher and higher pitch until it comes right in your vicinity. And then as it's heading again uh, down the road away from you, you can hear the pitch getting uh, longer and longer, uh, lower and lower pitch uh, as it's going. Now, why is it that you hear this pitch? Because as it's coming closer and closer to you, the waves, wavelengths are getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. This is what you perceive that is, okay? Um, obviously, the person who's on the ambulance is hearing um, uh, a particular wavelength, but you... Uh, as you are uh, an observer, as this is coming towards you, you are listening to the uh, to the sound, and you can hear that pitch getting getting uh, more and more and more uh, high pitched. And then, as the ambulance heads away from you, it gets more and more and more uh, low pitched. Okay, so the wavelengths get larger and larger as it heads away from you. So that's pretty easy to understand from the perspective of sound. Well, it's actually not much different uh, for light. So, as things are uh, coming towards you, the wavelengths get smaller and smaller, and because it's getting smaller and smaller, as you see, it's getting smaller and smaller in this part of the, um, the magnetic spectrum, it's blue. So, it shifts towards blue. Now, I could go into this into more detail, but we're actually looking at the spectral lines uh, in the uh, in this um, uh, when we're looking at, for instance, looking at a star. We we have a spectrometer, and this this a spectrometer will show us the spectral lines that are applicable to the elements that uh, that uh, that star is uh, uh, made of. And typically that will be just like our sun, that will be hydrogen and helium. Um, and these spectral lines will shift. And they'll shift uh, either one way or another, depending on which way the uh, stars uh, are going. So if the stars are heading away from us, then they're heading towards red. Because the wavelength's getting longer and longer, just like it did over here. Okay, remember? Over here, as we're moving away, the wavelengths are getting longer. So as the wavelengths are getting longer, in other words, from here getting longer, they're shifting towards red. Okay, so longer and longer means shifting towards red. So they, so hence shifting, it's to the red, and that's what's called red shift. Now, if it's coming towards you, then it's, uh, because it's coming towards us, and the star is, if you like, moving towards us, or we're moving towards it, then then uh, what's happening is that uh, 
those wavelengths are getting shorter and shorter and shifting towards blue. So, but the other uh, great thing about this is that not only can we know that the, that the star is shifting away from us, moving away from us, or moving uh, towards us, but because of this Doppler effect, we're able to actually calculate the velocity of it. So this equation over here, I'm not going to go into great detail of what it is, but you can look this up if you like. Uh, look up this equation. Uh, this equation here will tell you uh, what the velocity is. So you can have an observable velocity and the effect, the, the actual velocity okay, is equal to the square root of 1 minus uh, V over C. That's C being the speed of light and 1 plus the, the, uh, the um, V over C. Again, uh, C being the speed of light as well. So if you using this formula, you can actually work out how fast something is either moving away from you or towards you, and uh, at, not how far, how fast these things will be coming towards you and away from you. Okay, and of course, if you know uh, the speed of light, um, then you know that uh, that. Uh, 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 velocity is uh, distance over time, so you can actually work out how far the stars are. So not only do we know how fast they're moving away from us or towards us, but we also know how far they are. Okay, that's because we know that velocity is distance over time. Okay, so again, so redshift tells us that the stars are moving away from us, and they also tell us how fast they're moving away. And blue shift tells us that the stars are moving towards us. And, uh, and again, uh, regardless of whether they're going away from us or towards us, we're able to tell how fast they're going. And, not, and because we know how fast they're going, we're also be able to tell um, uh, what the, the, um, uh, the distance that they are away from us. Okay, that's a very simple calculation. Okay. I hope that um, that kind of helps. I'm not really sure if this video will work um, to do the job that uh, I wanted it to. And uh, if it doesn't, just leave the comments and I'm happy to do it again. Uh, probably one of the less crowded board um, and maybe just dealing with those concepts uh, more slowly one at a time. But I didn't want to make a huge video out of this. Just wanted to answer um, Arwen's questions. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here we are back again. Now, um, I'm not sure, as I said before, whether this, uh, whether this uh, video would work uh, or not, and, um, and uh, whether it does answer the question that, uh, that uh, Arwen posed for it, or whether any of you who are watching this will get anything out of it. But please, if you think it's, uh, it's too fast and, um, and doesn't cover the concept enough, just leave a comment in the in the you know below the video, and uh, and if you need be if there's too many questions about this, then I'll probably do it again. But uh, this time I'll cover uh, different aspects of it um, uh, more carefully. But in any case, this is really just to be a summary because I've got uh, another video coming, uh, one is which is uh, more complete which is, uh, deals with light, and we look at light in some detail. So I think um, it's quite a complex topic, so it'll probably take two or three videos to do to do it any kind of justice. Uh, but in any case, I, I'm going to take that seriously. This is really just a, um, a very basic uh, overview. Um, let me know what you think, and um, if need be, I'll do it again. Okay, if you like the video, please press the um, subscribe button if you haven't already, and and definitely um, hit the like button if you did like it, and if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Okay, ready? I'm waiting. Go. Like or dislike. One or the other. Off you go. All right, thank you. That'll do. Um, now, if you really dislike it a lot, you can press it multiple times. I'm quite happy with that too, okay? Okay, all right, guys. Thanks very much for watching this, um, and uh, I'll see you next time.